This is my tractor I had taken down to Cedar Lake for mowing. Discovered I had a terrible problem with the right front wheel. It was leaning and turning, so I had to take the wheel off. Couldn't get it done with the impact wrench, so I had to do a breaker bar with cheater pipe. Yep, it's loose. Take off the tie rod. Take off all the bolts for the kingpins. The top one would move, the bottom one refused to move. So I ended up taking the top one out first. There's the cage for the bearing. There's the bearings. Just cannot get that thing off. It's actually rusted in place. Okay, finally got it off. That is what the kingpin looks like. That's the one that will, will not come out. And so I tried to take my small sledgehammer, four pounder, and beat that thing out from the inside. Pry bars, nothing's working. So I just start hitting it. There it is. That's the raceway that it was contacting. Clean everything out. Weld the ring, the race, so that it will shrink. And first time I try, get the crowbar in there. Leverage it, pops right out. Okay. Now let's weld the bottom one. Try to get it out. Well, look at that. The kingpin has actually created a hole in the casting damage. I bring my engine hoist to reinstall after everything's done. Try to take the bearing out for the axle shaft. I'm trying all kinds of ideas in order to pull that thing out. The orange bar there is bending. It won't work. That lever won't work. I tried my t pipe wrench. Take it apart. There's my pipe wrench. Pry bar. Yep, pops right out. There we are. That's the seal. Put my pipe wrench back together. 
That's to make sure that the gear oil in the axle doesn't come out because the axle itself goes through that seal. I wasn't sure if it was damaged or not, so I had to take it out. That's a brass hammer. Clean everything up. Now I put a zerk fitting in order to fill the bottom, which is damaged, with grease because it, the seal will not work properly. Too much damage to the casting. Paint everything up, make it look pretty. Clean out the burrs from the damage with the die tool. Time to reinstall. Use my engine hoist, get everything in place. That's about a 120 pound hunk of metal. And there's the kingpins, ready to go in. There's one that has a seal on it, doesn't have the bearing yet. And the other one has a seal and then a bearing, all greased up, ready to go. One goes in the top, one goes in the bottom. So put the bottom one in first. it's harder to see. Tighten it up. Get everything in position. There's a shim. That's a $66 piece of thin metal from the dealer. That one is my old one. I ended up taking it out later after this whole video is over. And I try to get the kingpin in. And it works. Test it out. It seems to work. Finish tightening everything. Put the tie rod back on. Never could get that tie rod tight. It's loose. I may have to replace it anyway. There we are.